Get ready to break out your 20-sided dice because a new Dungeons & Dragons movie is on the way. <laughs> yeah. He will say, guys. He will say, guys. <laughs> Back in 2013, Warner Brothers announced that they were going to develop a new D&D movie, but it was quickly shot down by Hasbro, the company owning the rights to the popular game. However, the two sides have now reached an agreement and will produce a new film. Greg Silverman, president, creative development, and worldwide production for Warner Brothers said the following. We are so excited about bringing the world of Dungeons and Dragons to life on the big screen. This is far and away the most well-known brand in fantasy, which is the genre that drives the most passionate film followings. D&D has endless creative possibilities, giving our filmmakers immense opportunities to delight and thrill both fans and moviegoers new to the property. John, is it a good idea to make another Dungeons and Dragons movie? Well, before I answer that question, (laughs) <laughs> I, and I should say, anything that Hasbro does is good and right and just and would never in any way do anything inappropriate or misguided. In fact, my wife is project manager at Hasbro has nothing to do with that. No. Um, I love this news. As long as Jeremy Irons comes nowhere near... Where's the rest of my trikens? <laughs> but the trikens are up in the sky and I want my refresh. Jeremy Irons, ladies and gentlemen. As long as Jeremy Irons comes nowhere near this project, I am good. And you know, we're we're used to hearing a producer or a CEO or something, when they announce a movie, come out and say, yeah, this property is iconic and our property will be this and this property. But when he says Dungeons and Dragons is the name in fantasy, you can't really argue with him. That's absolutely true. And what I like about this is that In a game like Dungeons & Dragons, or a movie version of the game at any rate, you can do anything you want. There's not a a limited, you know, straight-line story. Dungeons & Dragons is whatever you want it to be. And that gives them a lot of leeway, a lot of flexibility to do whatever they want. Now, I may or may not have grown up playing an awful lot of Dungeons & Dragons. And, uh, you know, we all had those jerk friends. I'm sure Ellis was one of these. Uh, who, you ever, you ever play Dungeons and Dragons? You know, those jerk friends who would roll, when you're rolling your characters and you're trying to decide how much strength and dexterity you have, and they would always roll their dice, like, behind a cup or something. You can see, okay, uh, dexterity got 18, and uh, strength oh, wow. I got 18. And you're like, wait a second, time out, stop yeah. that. You did not. Oh, yeah, I did. You just weren't paying attention. I totally see Ellis doing that. He's got those shifty eyes. Let's but, get out of here, Ashley. <laughs> I got a football game tonight. Anyway, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> about this. I hope they just do it much, much better than they did with the first one. Schnepp, what do you think? Yeah, or, and, or the second one. They did two Dungeons & Dragons. What? So two G- Dungeons & Dragons movies so far. I don't... They did? Yeah. The I was not aware. I was not aware of I, two. Yeah, yeah, the second. A lot of people are not aware of two. They wow. so must have never gone to theater. Oh, yeah, check it out. IMDb that and enjoy it. Um, I can't, and then I watch it, it right later. Now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the first one... <laughs> With Jeremy Irons and the weird guy with the little purple snake ears or whatever. I think he had snake nostrils. Remember that guy? He's Wasn't like, a Wayne's brother in that? A Wayne's Ooh, brother was in the first one. Yes, yes. that's right. Um, Marlon but, Wayans uh, was. Yeah, I think yes. you're right. I mean, Dungeons & Dragons can be anything. It can be like any story you want to tell in the, in the world of Dungeons & Dragons. The world that Gary Gygax created is vast, so you can have many adventures. So I'm looking forward to it. It's about time. Dungeons and Dragons can be anything it wants, but can it be profitable? That's my question, because Mm. yes, it is the all-time greatest fantasy game, but the fantasy game on the market right now is Warcraft, and that movie comes out next summer, and I am fascinated to see how that film does and how that movie does. What the receipts of that tell me are going to tell us a lot about Dungeons and Dragons in the future, because you're right. This can be, you can have 20 movies based on Dungeons and Dragons. We've already had at least one confirmed, possibly two. We're not sure what chefs are drinking this morning, but I haven't seen either one of them, but I've heard nothing but bad things about it, and that it let down the fans, which is crucial because fans of Dungeons and Dragons are going to be fervent one way or the other. They're either going to love it, they're going to hate it. There's going to be no middle ground. So personally, as a Magic the Gathering fan, I'd like to get my turn on the carousel, but Dungeons and Dragons seems like source material that is ripe for a movie universe. Maybe they tried too early as far as effects go and everything like that. Like, look at something like the, the Ang Lee's Hulk, and it just didn't work out well, but it's such a known problem property that we have to reboot it you could say the same thing for dungeons and dragons I, oh, go ahead. I was not very creative uh as uh in my younger years when it comes to coming up with names for things mm-hmm. um so i had for a very long time for years i played this dungeons and dragons character he was a lawful good wizard uh who mainly i put a lot of my stuff into his lightning 
uh, spells. And, and you want to take a guess about what I named the wizard that I used? Wizardo. Uh, that would have been much better. That, that would have been great. Wizard Thunderstruck. That would have been great. You would have been great at Dungeons and Dragons with names when you're not cheating on your rolls. But uh, I, named, I named him Zap. Like, yeah, I know. I know. That's a stupid, Zap the wizard. That's a stupid, hey, stupid right. name. <laughs> anyway, so what were you saying? Well, I was going to say, I mean, Warcraft, Magic the Gathering, all those games are in response to Dungeons and Dragons. They're they're only around because of Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons is the big grandpappy. So that's the one that should have been... Uh, they, I, I'm surprised it's taking this long to make Dungeons You're, you're right, but Star Wars is only around because of Flash Gordon, but, you know, there might be a Flash Gordon movie, but Star Wars <laughs> is huge. So There that, is a Flash Gordon movie, and it's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's not amazing. Flash! Ah, ah, savior of the universe! I mean, but a lot of... When you're talking about brand recognition, too, I mean... This is something a lot yeah. of us have played. I mean, I mean, as a kid, so we have a lot mm -hmm. of memories. So a lot of people still play this game, especially now that's in the fine hands of the people over at Hasbro. 